introducing you to some spring animals in Greenleaf. Emily Deem is at a hobby farm with more. Hi, Em. Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everybody. We're out here at the Buyer Family Hobby Farm, and they have a lot of different breeds of chicks. This one is a silver phoenix with Egyptian eyes. Is that Ooh. right, you guys? And it's chilly, so we need to get it back in the pen where it's a warm, like, 80 degrees. These chicks need to stay warm, especially with the winter that we're having out here. So Heidi is one of the daughters out here at the farm. Heidi, you're actually taking care of these chicks. So tell me about um, how you're taking care of them. Well, I put stuff in the water. It's called the electric light. Which yeah. Can you show everybody that? This stuff. And what does that do? It gives them vitamins and minerals and some other stuff. Let's talk about their grain and what they actually use. Tell me about this one. Well, the grain, it gives them um, calcium, and so, they're, so they live and be healthy. Tell me about all the ones that you have in here and why you need to keep it so warm for them. You need to keep it warm so then um, they don't die, and then their feathers will stay nice, and they'll grow. And they're actually losing their feathers right now. Why is that, Heidi? Because they're getting their um, adult feathers in. Tell me about this one right here that you're actually showing at the Brown County Fair. A lot of them you're going to be showing, but that Polish one. Um, let's see. It's cool looking. Yeah. How do you take care of it? Well, I play with it. I feed it, water it. And playing with it, you can't take it for a walk or anything. You just hold them, right? Yeah. Can you grab that Polish one and show us how you play with them? They're a little feisty this morning, Rachel and Pete. Look at them go. Look at them go. Heidi knows them. how to handle them. Yeah. She's got one. So tell me how you would play with this one. Well, you just hold on to it, check if the feet are good, and check if the wings are good. How's this one looking? Good. Good. All right, let's talk to your mom, Lisa. These... Chicks are just some of the many spring animals you have here. Tell me about your lambs you have as well. Uh, yeah, the girls will be taking their lambs. Uh, we'll be taking some ewe lambs, some market lambs, uh, to the Brown County Fair and to the livestock show in September. And it's really cool, the breeding process that you have out here. Can you tell me about the different breeds you have? Uh, we have a commercial breed, and we breed them to another commercial uh, ram, uh, like a Hamp Suffolk ram. And the Texels we have, we breed strictly to Texel rams. Really cool stuff. And the lambs are just so cute. You and know, so are um, these chicks. Yeah. Rachel means you or you. So when you look it up in the book of, you know, name meanings and you look up Rachel, it says you, E-W-E. -E. So maybe if okay. they need a name, I've got one for them. Well, Rachel was saying about the names, if you need one, Rachel means you, and it's E-W, is that what you said, e -W -E, Rachel? E-W-E, that's what they are, the e lambs. E-W-E. <laughs> so if you need some, and some, we have it on Facebook, some of the suggestions that oh, people have said. They, they said to name them Rachel and Emily. Oh, so I love it. I got I to gotta look up to see what Emily means, because okay. I have no idea what my name means. So we'll, <laughs> we'll find it out for everyone, but it's a good suggestion, Rachel. All right, thanks, Em.